Welcome back everyone to Coral Island with Blaze at Fireside Farms. This is episode whoops, <laughs> 147. Away we go. Oh my. Okay, let's get into it. Oh my gosh. You know the drill. We let all the animals out first up. We're getting there. It is the 24th of winter. Very soon these guys are going to have some... Well, I'm going to have to plant a ton of grass. Um, so we're going to do that. Look, they have honey. Oh, my inventory is full. <laughs> what is it full of? I know, I played this yesterday in, in real time. So, oh, what isn't it full of? I see. All right, what have I got? I'm going to need a sturgeon. Let's pop that one over there. I'm going to need two arapaima. I got a giant stingray. I'm going to need a giant stingray. And I'm going to need a roof beetle. There we go. All right. Oh my goodness. I'm out of bait too, which is annoying. So everything else down to the rove beetle can go. I know, I should be saving stuff up for cooking and ah, oh, you name it. But that's okay. What were we doing? We just got our barns up to scratch. Um, and our coops. So I guess that means that we're, we're about to really start getting into um, making the animals. That's right, we have our 27 rope, but that'll only get me down to the first thing. And I don't know how many floors are in. Uh, we're going to have to go through to search for these memories. That's going to be exciting, isn't it? Actually, I did not check the insects. Let me just double check. Donated, 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 donated. Alrighty. Sorry, shipping bin. I'll get there eventually. Olive wing. Praying mantis. Moth. A gold star crayfish, a rainbow fish, purple star rainbow fish, wow. Crayfish, more eel, right, and we're keeping the rove beetle. We're dropping things off in our shed in a minute. Um, blacksmith and lab, it's Wednesday, so the lab will be closed. I'm just going to take this out. We're going to ship this poor little fish. I know, I should be growing a ton of tea leaves too. You know, that should be going in my seed box anyway. Why am I in this box? Why do I have food in this box? Did I... Alright, I have enough food for the moment. Uh, we'll come back and add the more food. Wow, in a bit. I know, give me a minute. That gives me fishing as well. Adds my fishing proficiency. I should definitely be eating that. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. What am I doing? Well, not anything in that box. No, it should be blacksmith and lab. Yeah, so basically I was putting this away. I know. Now, it should be day two, which means I should... Let me just Z everything up that I can. Right, I need one of these. We have a mission. We've got to go talk to Millie. There's more seeds in here. They shouldn't be here. Oh, and I, yeah, I consolidated. Now, where was I putting my seeds? In this box. Yes. There we go. Now we have 73 seeds, and I must have already had... No, I did not already have wheat seeds. There we go. All right, so I guess what we'll do then is we'll take all of these out of here and we will find a space for them in the uh, in the shed that they should be in. Right, I'm full. That's fine. So we'll do that. It's all right. I'm a little bit creaky this morning. I've got um, stuff I've got to do later. 
that's bothering me. Good turn. It'll be fine. Let's go. And then we'll just pop the rest of these up. There we go. Okay. It's all good. It will all be good. We've got some tea berries to go through. So anything that turns into pickles is in this box. So all of those. Um, was that milk? I saw milk. Told you I saw milk. Fruit box, tea berry, has berry in its name, therefore it must be, right? Right? Alrighty, which means I've just got one thing I want to leave. Oh, now if I go and grab some Osmium bars, it's Wednesday, so I'm pretty sure the, um, the blacksmiths will still be open. So our, our fish, our fish, our animals are all right. Oh dear. Our fish can go in here. That's what we're trying to do. Um, pretty sure I just need osmium bars for the watering can, which means I should probably take the watering can with me. So let's grab the osmium bars. Where do we put our watering can? It should be somewhere over here. Did I leave it in my backpack? I did leave it in my backpack. I know, we've got this. Let's go to the temple first, so I can't mess anything up. Well, wow. so I've got a minimal chance of messing stuff up. That's pretty much how it works, isn't it? A minimal chance. I believe I have some fish. Oh, I only have one fish. Oh, because I already have a sturgeon. But now I have an arapaima. Let's give the goddess the best one. There we go. I need a giant sea bass and a gator gar. I know, I've been really slow on this, haven't I? So saltwater fish, Asian sheephead and yellowfin tuna. Um, I, I suppose I should actually try and get those done. So that means the rest go in my museum. Well, not my museum, but the museum. We must be getting pretty close to... Um... Okay, we're not that close. <laughs> <laughs> ah, stop. I'm not looking now. I'm just not looking. 298 more items. Guys, you're killing me here. Oh, but let's um, let's take a few of those out. One, two, three, four. 293. Look at that. Which means I can sell those last two fish. All right. We have this. Is there something I should be doing today that I have forgotten about? I know. Let me have a look in my journal and we'll have a look at our quests. So, oh, we're working on building up our seeds so we can have osmium seeds. Um, we need to find Gort's memory fragments. I need to give Jim this arapaima. That's why we have it. And I need to go see Millie. See, I was forgetting stuff. The salmon is just going to have to wait until um oh what do you call it until spring there we go i got this hi i like hanging out at work so i usually stay here until i get sleepy why would i hang out at home when the library is the heart of starlet town exactly there's no reason the lights here are funny. I think the wiring must be old and needs some work. Sometimes they go off and on by themselves. All right. Give Osmium Kelp Essence. Thank you. All right, we finally completed. Oh, wait, what's this? Section C. Farming is an adventure. It's easy to start, but full of surprises. Once you get the hang of it, you're on your way to becoming the ultimate farmer. Here are some fun and important facts about farming to help you on your journey. Fruit plants and fruit trees are two different things. While fruit plants will wither when it's not their season, fruit trees will not. Although they don't wither, fruit trees don't bear fruit outside their seasons. Two, some crops grow on chalices and might block the walking path. Keep that in mind when choosing what crops to plant. 3. Fertilizers are useful to either increase crop quality or make them grow faster depending on the type you choose. There's a wide variety of fertilizer out there. 4. To get a better quality crop you need to plant better quality seeds. 
there's usually some information on improving seed quality in the local library. If your town has one, it's worth visiting to see what you can learn. What? I gained knowledge about farming. Excuse me for a minute. But still not enough. <laughs> still not enough to get this last thing. Okay. But it looks like I am still earning points. Well, okay. So there's... Oh, boy. So if you do this and read them as you get... So you've got ranching, foraging, BOS survival guide, equipment slots. We might have to come back once a day and read stuff. But the problem with that, of course, is we came in late. And look at this. Farming artisan goods for stamina fruit. Many rumours and myths surround the existence of the stamina fruit. The purpose of this journal is to distinguish between fact and fiction. Ah, no, come back. <laughs> Facts. The stamina fruit does exist. Eating the fruit gives a significant boost to stamina. Noticeable side effect is loud flatulence post-consumption. Oh, no. The fruit must be... What? No, excuse me. Myths. Contrary to popular belief, we cannot replicate... The stamina fruit's unique properties. You can divide the fruit up. Causes eater rubber-like arms. All right, hang on. Oh, left click for stick. Uh, for, for next. The fruit must be consumed whole in one bite for its effects to take place. Okay. We got this. Well. <laughs> Woeing. Guys, please change that E to an O. Uh, Wooing your potential partner. You don't want to woe them. That would make them sad. How to craft rare items edition. The rare items edition. Well, I guess we better look at that. Three. Replication device 16L XXXV. Oh no. That's another device I don't have. This is one of the most famous crafting items in history. Ancient evidence of a device that can replicate any item has been seen all over the world. However, the written recipe for this remains a mystery. You learnt how to craft the slime of replication. Oh, we are going to have to read all the books, guys. All of them. Artisan Goods Guide. Taking your farm to the next level is a challenge, but this guide is here to make it easier. Here's what you should know. Firstly, gathering materials is essential. Wood, stones and scraps are key to building farm equipment. While there are other materials, these three are fundamental for most farming tools. Here's a list of handy items you can craft. The bee house. Oh, it's like mayo. You need to be proficient in farming to make a scarecrow. It's all about knowing what to keep away from your crops. You learnt how to make the bee house, the ordinary scarecrow and the mayo machine. Didn't I know how to do that? I did, but this is this is a book you get when you unlock it, so it kind of boosts. Oh, unless that's changed. <gasps> Wooing. Winning their heart, a step-by-step -step guide. Knowing your crush well is it crucial in any budding relationship. It's easy to be blinded by affection, just like the saying goes. Everything looks pink through pink-tinted glasses. <laughs> right, right. But seeing them clearly beyond this rosy view is essential. It helps you understand if your values and personalities truly match. Start by engaging in conversation. When you feel it's time to deepen the connection, thoughtful gifts can be a great way to their heart. But be cautious, the wrong gift might mo do more harm than good. If you sense it's the right moment to take things further, present them with a locket. It's not as serious as a marriage proposal, rather a sweet gesture to show how much they mean to you and to open the door to an official relationship. Good luck! Slightly increases your role, your rate of earning friendship points. <laughs> that is so cute. Uh, what else is in this bookshelf? Okay, we've, all right. You know what? We are going to have to go and look at all these now. Ranching, the basics. The key to being a great rancher is caring for your animals. Ranching is a whole different beast from farming. Most importantly, you'll be dealing with live animals. They need food, a clean environment, and love. To better understand your animals, here are some tips. The mood of your animals affects their productivity. Remember, a cow in a bad mood might not produce milk, so keep an eye on their happiness. Let your animals out on sunny days for sunbathing and grazing. Just like us, they enjoy a bit of outdoor time to boost their mood. 
If your animals are outside, there's no need to feed them again. They'll graze on the fresh grass. The stronger your bond with an animal, the larger the size of the product they produce. A well-loved animal means more abundant yields. For higher quality animal products, provide them with better quality fodder. It makes a noticeable difference. You gain knowledge about wrenching. Foraging, the basics. Here are some handy tips for all aspiring foragers out there. Give trees a good shake. You might be surprised at what falls out. Different tree areas of the island yield different items. Forests are great for mushrooms, beaches for shells and more. Each area has unique treasures, so exploring is key to discovering what grows where. Happy foraging! BOS Survival Guide Uh oh. Heads up adventurers, the caves are filled with dangers including monsters and poisonous critters. Remember, it's better to be prepared than regretful. If you can gear up with these key items for your journey, Kelp Essence Ring gives you a critical hits a major power boost. Spikes, they injure enemies that get too close. Slime Traps for slowing down fast moving foes. Spring Traps, creating distance. Glue Traps, great for stopping aggressive creatures in their tracks. Shock Traps, briefly paralyze your enemies. Light Ring illuminates dark areas, making it easy to see. Share these tips with family and friends to ensure everyone stays safe out there. Wow, okay. Next. Equipment slots. Alright, need a little advantage in your activities? Try this combo. Two sets of trinkets and a pair of bait and scent. This setup can make your activities more efficient. Let's break it down. Trinkets, small pieces of equipment that offer buffs. Wear them to gain their benefits and be mindful of any potential downsides. Bait. Essential for fishing. They can really boost your catch rate. Just remember to keep enough on hand, especially when you're on a roll. Scents. Useful for attracting and repelling insects and monsters. Like baits, make sure you got a good stock so you're never caught short. Alright. Uh, uh oh. Deep dive of the mythical kelp. Historians believe that early civilizations engaged in the cultivation of mythical kelp in a manner similar to ore mining. Just as ores are instrumental in enhancing tool quality, mythical kelps are used to improve the quality of farm produce. In laboratory settings, these kelps have been shown to significantly enhance the quality of seeds, seedlings, saplings and fodder. However, the rarity of mythical kelp poses a significant challenge. Research has identified four distinct types, characterized by bronze, silver, gold and purple hues. These have been sourced from four different global regions, including the ocean beds of Coral Island. Interestingly, although there is no established direct link, mythical kelp appears to thrive near unidentifiable ruins. Alright guys, I would love to keep doing this, but uh, we should probably... <sighs> Elemental caverns, the four-leaf clover phenomenon, curious case of coral islands lotus, and giant crops. Oh, okay, you know what? Oh man, we, we have... Okay, we're going to come back and read a little bit more, but maybe not all today. The Slime War 1 and 2. Okay, what else have you got in here, Millie? My goodness, someone's expanded these. Local fishermen caught giant stingray, a day in the life of a bug catcher. Millie's note, the giants, the creation of Coral Island, the notes of Explorer M. Loft, part 1, and puffer fishing. Volume 1. Oh, so good. All right, tomorrow we're going to come back and read another section. Um, uh oh, that's a cutscene. <gasps> yes! Oh, this thing! What's the problem? I don't know! Millie's gonna murder you, Scott. I was using the computer and it crashed. I restarted it, but uh, now everything is messed up. I can't just tell Millie, because even though I work in her department, I'm technically not allowed to use certain things. Uh, I don't know, okay? Stop looking at me like that. The point is the computer crashed. What do we do now? Have you tried asking Lily for help? Great idea. Let's find her. Let's hope Millie doesn't use the computer until it's fixed. Oh no. What have I done? Oh, too late, Scott. All right. Kit Kat looks happy. Omar looks happy. 
Fizz looks happy. What I'm trying to do, what I actually came in here to do, uh, was going into my journal. I'm going to go down to extras. And if you notice at the bottom of extras, there's like all these pets and we're missing one. Okay, so we're missing a cat. So I need to go find... They're just not loading in at the moment. <laughs> Luna looks happy. I do not know what's going on here. Spike Adu is busy, can't talk. Okay, those two are playing. Inari looks happy today. Why won't my pets load? And Cody looks happy today. Let's see if we can find a kitty cat outside. Um, we may have to... Okay, they're all inside because they're not silly about snow like I am. <laughs> oh no, what are we doing? And they're back. Look at that. They just needed a bit of time. All right, what about you? Malcolm looks happy today. What about you? Are you the kitty I'm looking for? Trinket is busy and can't talk right now. Man, I hope you're not. Luna. Hippiastrum. Geddy looks happy. Omar looks happy. Bast is busy. Beating up. Who are you beating up, Bast? Not Geddy, that's for sure. I'm not disturbing that cat. I think that's Gary Kuhn over there. Kit Kat is busy. Hang on. We'll wait till Kit Kat's up on the tree. Kimba is... No, I'm not trying to talk to Kimba. I'm trying to talk to Kit Kat. That's Kimba. I can't. <laughs> Alright, let's have a quick look at this journal because I have a feeling we probably clicked on one and the reason the reason they're not in our extras is because they were busy. So Fizz, Gary Kuhn, Hippie Ashram, Inari, Kit Kat, Luna, B, Bast is there. Who's this? Okay, I don't know who that is. Let's just poke our head into other rooms and see if we can trigger any more cutscenes. Okay, nothing in the town hall now. Um, we were going to try and make it to the <laughs> to the blacksmiths. I know. What are you doing, girl? Let's go for a run. We've we've been to the museum, so that's fine. Scott broke the computer. Uh, I have both of those. I might have to make a trip home. We need to go see Jim before I ship the arapaima by mistake. Because that poor man has been waiting years for his arapaima. Are you planting anything in your greenhouse this winter? I should be, but no. I'm cold. Why does it have to be this cold? Oh. Okay. I could gift him a moth. I don't think he'd like it, though. So we're going to try and update our watering can. Hi, Rafa. How you doing? I feel uh, kind of bad saying no to people, Blaze. I don't know. I feel impolite, I guess. I heard you turn down a lot of things. Could you uh, teach me your ways? Sure. You say no. Oh, I didn't mean it that way. I meant you're an honest person and I can learn a lot from you. You're right. It's hard to sleep when Emma has private events at her food truck. They usually last past midnight and the music is a bit loud. I'm happy she gets extra income, but I secretly hope she doesn't do it too often. Does that make me a bad friend? No, mate. It's your house. All right, can I upgrade? I didn't bring any resin. That's okay. You know what? That is easy fix. Let's go and grab some resin. And offload everything except the arrow primer. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, back to the farm. Fortunately, the box I need is like right next to where we are. That'll do it. No, <laughs> now I've got to... There we go. Back to the blacksmiths. 
don't know, we're just wandering through. It's all good. All right. Our last tool for upgrading. Oh, I am a little bit excited. Four days. Yep, that's fantastic. All right. Why are you running around with that bug on your hand, dear? Here, hold your fishing rod. It's much healthier. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, why don't I head back to the farm? Uh, actually, you know what? I should head down to the beach. Excuse me for a minute. Beach first. <gasps> Wait, could I go right next to the shack? Excuse me for a minute. No. No, no, I couldn't. That's okay. I'm like, because I didn't notice that before. Alrighty. Let's just pick up that. We may or may not come across a bug in this area. Sometimes we do, and I always miss it because it's unexpected. Okay, this time it's just a fly, so we're going to leave it. <laughs> There's a snowman just chilling out. I mean, oh, I know, I did not mean to make that pun. Alrighty. What am I in here for? Jim. Oh, where is my arapaima? I don't have an extra arapaima. That's right, I had to catch an extra arapaima. Sorry, Jim. Gonna have to wait a bit longer, my man. Alright, tuna. Oh, why don't we buy some... Deep breath. Deep breath. We've got some bait to buy, I think. I know. Ten of it's five hundred, twenty of it's fifty thousand. Oh, uh, I don't know. Unless I can't count. A hundred of it is five thousand. I'll get there eventually. So let's buy a hundred medium bait. Beautiful. And let's see what we can catch in the winter ocean. Oh, hang on. I, grab your bait, put it down in here, otherwise you won't be using it. There you go. So we can catch a few fish. Looks like we're having a really quiet day today. I know, there is a lot we need to do. Look at the ice on this dock. I wonder how many people have gone base over apex into the ocean. Well, I mean, there are other ways I can put that, but none of them are polite. As polite. None of them are as polite. Where's my fishing rod? Let's see what we can catch. Apparently there are sharks in here too. I know. I just... There's so many fish. A lobster. Let's see what else. I'm not after a lobster dinner, guys. We are definitely after something. Just not sure what. So there's a thing in the museum for like sharks, and it's actually you really are catching sharks. I looked it up. But they're a really rare drop. And another lobster. You guys wonder why I don't fish. This is also, you notice, we're actually catching fish a lot quicker too, which is nice. We should be down here in the morning just to check out what we've got. This looks like another lobster. No, it's a blue tang. I caught one of those in the mine the other day. It's very disconcerting. And there are fish in the mine we need to catch as well. Lobster. How many is that? I think that's like four. Two lobsters, three lobsters and a blue tang. Four. So this will be fishy five if we can get it.
through my lungs. Six. No, five, sorry. And this is six. If we get it in. I know the reflection of the light off the dog. Looks like another lobster. Yeah. I love the swimming patterns. The, that the swimming patterns give you a clue as to what you're bringing in. That's five. Looks like another lobster, what do you reckon? I might have to try down on the beach. That's six. We'll do ten here first though, then we'll move to the beach. It definitely is not taking as long for things to bite. Well, who the thunk it? Bait makes fish bite faster. Duh. <laughs> uh, um, don't mind me. I'll just suck myself out. Uh, not sure what this is. Nope, it is another lobster. Seven. Uh, not a lobster. Ruby red dragonette, that's eight. Lobster, I think. Yep, that's nine. I wonder if we can cook them. You know what I need to do? I need to eat that food that gives me a fishing boost. <laughs> well, duh. We'll do that in a minute. I think this is another lobster. Oh, it might not be. No, there it is. Okay. Let's... No, not the fried rice. Let's eat the su sushi. Oh, I did need the energy. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to toddle on. I can't just jump off the d I know there's games I play where you can jump off things and, and I, I will inevitably do that with my character every time I can. Except, of course, when the character gets hurt because even I can be taught through pain. There we go. Ah. Uh -huh. That did not come out right. It's getting late, but I want to... Okay, you know what? We're going to fish off the shelf here. Let's see what comes off here. Someone's got to have been throwing their food scraps into the water, right? That's bound to get some more fish. This is a good area for lobster. Look at the rocks. Okay, so we're fishing late. Lobster. What did I just say? Lobster. <laughs> All right, let's try again. It's got to be an exciting night fishy in here somewhere. Sigh. A not exciting lobster fishy. All right, after this one, we have to go home. It's getting very dark. Dark, I tell you. Here it comes. Please don't be a lobster. Oh. No, not a lobster. Ah, uh, Ruby, I think. Yeah. All right, time to go. We might, we won't make it home. You know what? I'm just going to stand here and fish. What's that? Is that a crab? <laughs> oh, fishing level 7. Alrighty. And it gives you more stamina and health. So increasing those is good. Uh, catching. There we go.
day two. Here it is. Ooh, yeah, my doctor's bill has arrived. <laughs> you okay? I found you passed out yesterday and you were sweating so much. I think you've been working too hard. Please get some rest. Eva, I'm sorry to scare you, Eva. I am okay. Thank you. All right. It is Thursday. Our, um, oh man, we're going to need more kelp essence, more osmium kelp essence, because we've just, um, I wonder if I can dry fish. Let's go find out. I know it's an experiment I haven't thought to try yet. Don't ask me why, I don't know. No, okay, the answer is no, you can't dry your fish. Radio. Oh, so much I've got to do in here. Look at that. I've got stuff I can... Oh. All right, I know. We'll go for the profit in a little bit. Um, let's go for the almonds in the meantime. Nope, no almonds today. Let's see how many of these... We're, I think we're waiting on... No, we're not waiting on any of these now. All right. Peabody. We do need to get a few more, right? Oh no, it looks like I should have waited another day. There it is! There's my impact, hiding in amongst my trees. Whoa, what is that? Wow. Larissa looks happy. I know. Smooching for pets. Naughty little llamas. Okay. Things to ship. I should probably make them into stuff, but that's okay. That's what we were doing. We were trying to catch our winter fish. Uh, right after, so that's my osmium bar. I don't have enough osmium essence. We need some more of that. Um, drop that back in. I'm going to put my rope away as well. I'm going to hang on to all of my other stuff. We are going to go and just drop this murex shell away. Okay, up to the lab to improve our seeds or whatever it is we're improving next. Might as well say hello to whoever this is. Jim, excuse me, I'm late. I don't know how you do it, walking around in the snow in the cold. It's okay, Jim. Winter can get pretty wet. It's a little slow, too slow for a Sagittarius like myself. It doesn't fit well with my energy. Summer fits my energy best. Ben has a lot of healing crystals. None of them spoke to me, though, so I haven't brought any of them home yet. I don't like choosing crystals. I want to let one speak to my soul. That's the confirmation I need. Hi, Doc. Ready for Monday, Blaze? No. I love how pet owners are so passionate about what kind of person they are. I kind of want to join in and say, I'm a cat person. I'm a lizard person. It's like a whole subculture. They, The whole thing is just fascinating. All right. Speaking of fascinating, is it 9 o'clock yet? It surely is. Let's talk to Scott. Feels like it's going to be a child. Good day today, I think. This morning I woke up and I just uh, realized that this island is filled with clean air and nice people. Yeah. Hi. We do grow grapes in the grand greenhouse in winter, but we don't rely too much on them. They're sort of like a backup supply. Now that it's winter, there are massive electronics sales. I might check out the electronics district in Pokyo. Let's see how this week goes. He's a very serious young man, isn't he? All right, let's have a look in here. Produce quality. So we're slowly working on our produce. 10,000. Um, I just want to see. So kelp essence, I need 5, 11, 18, 26. Radio. 
and I forgot to bring in, I think I wrote down all the other stuff I needed and I forgot to bring it in. But that's going to be good. We're going to have all of that done. Watering can is nearly done. Let's talk to, hi, Bree's holding an annual appreciation dinner for the mayor. It's great. It's very nice of her to do that. I don't travel in winter. I'm afraid the truck might get stuck in the middle of a snowstorm. I can't remember the last time I changed the tyres, to be perfectly honest. It's worrisome, if you ask me. Hey, how you doing? We want to get those, those little video cameras that attach to your hat. That way we could capture more footage. But it's a little outside our budget right now. Oh, well, it's not the end of the world. There will be plenty of time for Zoe to go on adventures. For now, I think it's safer for her to focus on school. Alrighty. Let's do um, our insect collection, because we haven't. Archie, how you doing? I can't play with my friends after school today because I want to hunt mushrooms with Dad in the forest. It's going to be so much fun. Sometimes Mrs. Bree comes over to the house and talks to Mom for a long time. I'd rather play with Taco or the ducks at the ranch. They're way more fun than listening to grown-ups talk. See, there's a kid securing themselves, right? Hey, Rafa. Did you hear that? No, Rafa. No, I'm not teasing you, but it was probably just the wind or something. Pablo spends a lot of time in the garage. He seems to always be calibrating his TV. All right. Let's go. I think I'm trying to walk through a snow-covered bush. Let's go and find these um, insect traps. I'm pretty sure I put two um, in this little path area, one on either side of the thing. I just grabbed my ho, ho, ho. I did. Yeah, there's one. So we have another centipede and a whatever, a spice bush swallowtail. We don't have that. That's one I keep trying to catch and I can't. Where is it? Yeah, look! Um, it's a body fly for... Oh, there were two in that spot. Radio. Oh, that is so good. It's a, it's a new butterfly. So spice bush in... Uh, I'm not sure if that's a winter or a fall butterfly, to be honest, because I can't remember when I cleared that trap last. Now, I was sure I put um, some traps somewhere. Okay, we know what's down there. That's the path to the, the lands where Gort's memory is. But I was pretty sure I put some traps down in this area as well. Let's see if I can remember what I did with them. Okay, we're going to head on home. Um, I know, I was going to do something, I've forgotten what it was. Um, I should eat the sushi though. Okay, for four hours, fishing proficiency of 10%. Which we may need, let's, uh, let's fish a little this way. We'll do 10. We'll do 10 in this spot. I should have done 10 in the town as well. Um, we'll get there. Here's our first fisher. At least it won't be a lobster. What's the bet it's a crayfish? Oh, okay. What's the bet it's a really, really hard to catch fish, even with an osmium rod and 10% on my proficiency? Wow. Two red snappers. Well, okay. That's one. This is two. So ten casts. I think I, um... Oh, it looks like another red snapper. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Two. Okay, this is three. I'm not sure if that's a grasshopper or if it's... Yeah, it looks like a grasshopper. It's cute. Watching me fish. Come here, grasshopper. You look like good bait. Another red snapper. That's three casts. Oh, 
Whoa, I don't know what this is. Red Snapper, forecasts. Rainbow Fish, five casts. Just waiting for the fish. Red snapper on six. Oops. Let me try that again. I'm not counting that one. I derped up the um, the thing. Oh, another one. I'm thinking this might be a red snapper. What do you reckon? Feisty little fishy. That's seven. Three more to go. Time goes really fast when you're fishing too. Except when you're waiting for the fish to bite, then it's real slow. Not a red snapper, possibly a rainbow fish though. No, a chub. What's that, eight? Oh, that's one. There we go. This is two. And then we'll get to three and that'll be ten. I oh, know, I did lose count. Oh, it's afternoon and the chub are biting. So it was daytime we got the red snapper and the rainbow fish. And then late afternoon, evening, we've got two chubs so far. I wonder what else happens during this time of the day. We should actually have gone down to the ocean and done fishing in the morning as well. It looks like another chub. Yeah, three. Last one. And I, my sushi has probably run out. You know, I've never noticed that um, that little moon up. You see, in the top right-hand corner, you've got the the day and the date and the season and uh, the time. But right next to it, there's like this moon. All right, I'm curious now. That was a red snapper at night. So red snappers must be all times of the day. I think there's, there are fish charts I could probably look up for this. Um, I'm not sure what fish this is. I don't think it's a red snapper. The pattern's slightly different. No, it's a red snapper. Fine. <laughs> red snappers. Okay, I can't go fishing in here. Let's see what... Um, did I put any bug traps in here? No, but I am a bug trap. That's a wasp. I thought it was a hopping insect, so I was aiming wrong. So we've met the pandas. I know, I, I wish I could understand what they said. Maybe there's um, a way to talk to them. We're just gathering bamboo shoots. Everyone seems to get excited about them. What's down there? How do I get down there? Look, what is that? Who is that? Oh, how do we... I know. <laughs> Uh-oh. <gasps> Another cutscene, this one with Waku. Oh, and Mark. It's a Mark cutscene? And Takeba. 
Is that you, Taro? What happened to your face? Huh? Hmm? I should have stopped you from going. Wars are no good business for small people like us, son. Huh? I'm not... Huh. Sir, are you okay? Hmm. <laughs> oh no. Hey, sorry about that. What? No, it's fine. I'm just worried. Is he alright? Not really, but it's okay. I'll take care of him. Oh, Waku, this is my son Taro. Have you two met? Sorry, Takebo, that's not Taro, that's... Uh-oh. Uh, um, I don't know what your name is, I'm sorry. Nobody, don't worry about me. Oh, I'm so sorry, young man. You look a lot like my son. I'm waiting for him to get home. He should be arriving any minute now. Let's go inside, Takeba. It's getting late. Takeba. Um, can, I, can we wait for Taro? Can we wait for Taro there? No, no, I will wait here. You two should go in. The weather's getting cold. My son will... Don't worry about Taro, Takeba. He, um, he called me earlier. Wouldn't make it home tonight. He said, don't wait up, okay? Let's go. Let's get you inside. Oh, he did? All right, then. Let's go inside. It's no good use if I get sick when he comes home tomorrow. Uh-huh. Hmm. I'm glad he called you. Is Taru doing okay, Waku? What else did he say? Oh no. <sighs> oh, that's devastating. Oh, look, I forgot about that. What time is it? 20:30? I know, it does help if you hit the bit of dirt that you need to. Okay, we have a wasp. Purple wasp. Uh, does that thing hurt extra if it hits me? I don't know. Let's go and raid a rubbish bin. Just take that trash, we'll recycle it for these guys. I've cut back on eating fish, but i got to admit, I still love me some salmon. I chatted with Alia once, and she's got to, got to be one of the smartest people I've ever met. It must take a lot of work to be that knowledgeable and accomplished. <sighs> so good. Alright, so it looks like there's no ground crawlers up here at the moment. There have been some moths. Let me just clear those. I thought it got out of <laughs> one of the two. Oh, uh, yeah. an awful lot of these purple wasps. Actually, don't I need them to make fish bait? Oh, I know. I'm sorry, wasp. You're about to become fish bait. That one's open now. We'll just grab this ground crawler here. Talk. Ah, I'm going to miss the snow. The snow may be melting soon, but the weather will still be chilly for at least a week. And I've talked to Archie. He's off with our hunting... An olive wing butterfly. Hunting... Um, what do you call it? Mushrooms in the forest with his dad. It's very cute. I wonder if the rat leisure is back. Why don't we go have a look? It's 2210. Here's a Janetta. And a grasshopper. The grasshopper. And a centipede. And I can see some broccoli. What's my backpack doing? Ooh, I didn't. It's not looking good. We'll harvest that. We'll scare this ground shark. Woodchuck. Ground. Oh, I'm going to stop talking now. Let's go this way. Grab that. Grab that. 
Ooh, definitely grab that. How are we doing for space? Okay, where um, I'm not looking, I'll have that. I know, hands on the wrong buttons. Black Beauty Eggplant. I did see a wasp over here. We were going to catch it. Not with that, we're not. I, yes, that was me. All me, derping it up. Sigh. All right, I could go over to the mines, but what we're going to do is we're going to just head for home through the forest. I've got one space left. Um, and I'm looking for something in particular. Yep, heading home. I don't know whether Rafflesia bloom in winter. It wasn't too far in. What is that? Oh, pretty. It's a Chandrawasi. Oh, I should tell the... Oh, they'd be so thrilled. They would. I think I just filled my last space. Yeah, all right. At the very beginning of the game, if you if you're watching the telly every day, the Chandrawasi is um is what the Paul and his wife and their little girl are looking for, and um, we saw one. It's so good. Uh, anyway, let me just go inside. And we'll we'll catch a nap. But guys, I think too. On that note, I'm going to bid you adieu. If you enjoyed this episode please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. Look at that. We did. Oh, wow. Wow. We need to have some of those in a fish pond. Yellow moray eels. Radio. That's pretty good in gold. All right. But on that note, I will check you later. Take care out there.